The 2023 Toronto Blue Jays are a much more complete team than in past years. They boast a deep pitching staff, solid defense, and shook things up by bringing in a few left-handed bats. But if you take a further look at the team, you'll notice they lack in a very specific category, and that's left-handed pitching, specifically relievers. Southpaws are a prized commodity in baseball. Take a look at the game's best left-handed batter splits against lefty and righty pitching. You can see a noticeable difference. That's one of the reasons why having lefty relievers in your bullpen is a necessity when facing guys like these. You're probably wondering why this is the case, and it can be justified by a few different factors. The first one is simple. Batters do better against opposite hand pitching because of their release point. If a left-handed batter is facing a left-handed pitcher, breaking balls will be moving away from them, meaning a good pitch will have them lunging out of the batter's box to try and make contact. Another add-on to this is the fact that batters don't face left-handed pitching as frequently. Think about it, the general population is about 90% righty dominant, and in the MLB, around 75% of the innings pitched are from righties, meaning from Little League to the bigs, you can expect guys to face far fewer reps against left-handed pitching. Sorry to interrupt, I just wanted to say that these videos take hours to create, so your subscription would help me immensely as I try to reach my goal of 1,000 subscribers. Okay, back to the video. When we take a look at the Jays' bullpen, there's only one lefty, Tim Meza. That's why I, along with many other Blue Jays fans, were surprised with the DFA of Matt Gage. He posted great numbers as the closer in Buffalo and did well in his short spell at the majors last year. Even though he probably wouldn't have made the opening day lineup, he would have provided depth at AAA and been one of the first guys to get called up in the event of an injury. It just seems like ever since the three batter minimum rule was introduced, we have seen less and less innings pitched from left-handed relievers. Because if he is sent in to retire a difficult lefty but fails, then he'll have to pay for it because he will stay in the game and more than likely not face a righty. But that doesn't mean left-handers are downright useless, and in the event that Mesa misses time, the Jays would be left with no southpaws in the bullpen. And there's still a few lefties on the market that could be serviceable for the Jays in Zach Britton and Sean Doolittle. However, with less than a week until the season kicks off, it's unlikely they'll make a move in that department. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think it has anything to do with the three batter minimum rule or are the Jays neglecting an important area of the team? All right, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy content like this, make sure to subscribe. Like I said before, these videos take hours to create, so your subscription would mean the world to me. Plus, if you love the Jays, you'll see me in your recommendations all season long as I post at least four times a week. All right, thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.